lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground. Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends, all my dreams are coming true. I think I'll go fly into the sky. Give the moon a smooch. He's my kind of guy. Maybe I'll even give Saturn a try if he offers his ring with that look in his eye. Excuse me if I'm silly. A goose gone willy nilly, and I owe this happiness to you. Love has changed my former point of view. Just like a butterfly, I've got new wings. All my dreams are coming, all my dreams are humming, all my dreams are coming true. Good morning. Sting flight here again, this time from beautiful Blue Canyon, California. Elevation exactly one mile high. A great place to escape the summertime heat in the valley. It'll be a blazing 73 degrees here this afternoon. What I wanted to talk to you about was a couple of videos ago, I talked about using a single remote control to control multiple H7 Black cameras on your airplane. And at that time, I didn't have a whole lot of good things to say about these H7 cameras. But uh, I was assuming based on all other reviews that the video stabilization was really good. Well, coming up here today, I got to see how good it was. I got in some turbulence in a canyon and uh, just wait till you see what that stabilization did on the four cameras that I was running. Truly, this is a good reason just by itself to use these cameras on an airplane to settle down the effects of turbulence. So let's take a look at that footage. Now, my golden rule for flying in the mountains in the summertime is get the heck out of Dodge by 9 a.m. The one time I didn't follow this golden rule, it cost me $10,000 in damage to my airplane, and I almost got hurt. This day, near Blue Canyon, it was already 9.30, and big air currents were just beginning to stir for the midday fun. Well, okay. So far, so good. Everything is still smooth as silk. The turbulence hits in about 12 seconds, just over the next ridge. You'll see, very soon. In particular, watch movements of the airplane's nose in relation to the landscape straight ahead. That's pretty much it. <laughs> 